Have you ever met someone strikingly good looking yet you felt a chill run down your spine? Those chills could be an instinctual warning sign alerting you to danger. By presenting a charming smile or successful image, narcissists trick us into overlooking their toxic behaviors. But what exactly do you need to look for? I've spent the last 20 years researching self-worth and narcissistic relationships. As a coach, an author, and a survivor myself, I teach simple systems to help empower you in any situation. In this video, I'll show you three facial clues that narcissists can't hide explain why your instincts alert you to these signs, and since Meghan Markle is a woman often labeled as a narcissist, we'll examine whether these red flags appear on her face or whether they're just a coincidence. Have you ever seen someone smile in a way that seems to be more judgmental than authentic? This is our first facial clue to spotting a narcissist, the condescending smirk. This smirk isn't an actual smile. It's a signal of contempt, one of the few universally recognized emotions across cultures, where the lip corner is pulled back on one side only and the eyes are neutral. It's a slight, often smug or condescending smile that usually indicates self-satisfaction, superiority, or disdain. Contempt is one of the most dangerous emotions to spot. It signals deep disrespect and a lack of regard for the other person. It's a red flag, it's toxic, and it's a reliable predictor in the breakdown of a relationship. When you notice visual signs of contempt, a sneer, eye rolls, or a head tilt, it's crucial to recognize them as serious warnings. These are nonverbal waves of saying, I'm better than you, or you're beneath me. With a narcissist, contempt isn't just a look, it's an outward tell of their inner beliefs and motivations, exposing their inflated ego, deep insecurity, and a lack of empathy. It's their way of devaluing you to maintain their fragile self-image. So notice the subtle smirk on Meghan Markle's face at the Queen's funeral. Is this just an innocent expression, or could it be a potential red flag? Is it a sign of contempt for those around her, the family, the media, or even the Queen herself? Maybe it's the look of someone acutely aware of the camera's focus. Maybe we're simply watching an actress trying to craft a moment where she allows a single tear to glide down her cheek. I'm curious to hear what you think. Are we witnessing signs of narcissistic contempt and grandiosity, or simply dramatic acting? When you notice contempt, such as a smirk or dismissive behavior, use the contempt check. It's important to protect yourself by treating contempt as a dead end for any conversation. Instead of confronting the behavior directly, maintain your composure and set clear boundaries. Stay focused on the specific task or situation rather than trying to make a point, justify, or convince. If the contempt continues, refuse to engage further. Simply say, this conversation isn't productive and step away from the situation when you can. By treating contempt as a conversation stopper, you prevent a narcissist from using it as a tool to manipulate or undermine you. Have you ever been on the receiving end of a look so intense it almost feels like someone's eyes are burning through you? This is our second facial clue to spotting a narcissist, the intense stare. This isn't just a focused gaze, it's a display of control and dominance, an unblinking, almost predatory glare that asserts power without a word. It's a tool used by narcissists to intimidate and manipulate, creating an imbalance of power that makes you feel small, insignificant, or even afraid. It's effective because it disrupts your confidence, making you more susceptible to manipulation. Using this intense, unblinking gaze, the narcissist can control the interaction and silently communicate superiority and disdain. By making you uncomfortable, they control the flow of conversation or interaction. It forces you to react, often putting you on the defensive or making you feel like you need to appease the narcissist to avoid further discomfort. It's a silent but overt warning of, you're under my control and I will punish you if you step out of line. We see many possible examples of this from Meghan Markle. One of the most striking moments is when she stares at her own mother. Is this stare a subtle way of asserting dominance, a nonverbal cue to remind those around her of who's in control? If so, this could be a potential red flag, a sign of underlying narcissistic traits where the need to dominate and control others manifests through a piercing gaze. Or perhaps it's not about control at all. Could it be the look of someone who's deeply focused, perhaps trying to project authority or confidence in front of the cameras? Maybe it's simply the gaze of someone who knows she's being watched and who wants to appear here, composed and unshakable. When you feel someone might be trying to dominate you or control you through intense staring, use the stare back test to check their true intentions. Instead of looking away, 
hold their gaze for a few moments and watch their reaction. If they keep staring without softening or breaking eye contact, it could be a sign that they're attempting to assert dominance or control. This prolonged gaze is a red flag, a power move meant to make you feel uncomfortable, submissive, or intimidated. This doesn't necessarily mean that they're a narcissist, but it does mean that there might be underlying aggression. It's also important to note that staring isn't always manipulative. For example, neuroatypical people might stare due to difficulty interpreting social cues or a deep focus on a topic. The key is to consider the broader context, observe behavior patterns over time, and assess whether there are underlying motivations of domination and control when looking for clues of narcissism. If you'd like a copy of the tools I share, sign up below and you'll get a new three-minute empowerment plan every week. Have you ever noticed someone lifting their eyebrows after making a statement as if they're silently asking you for agreement or admiration? This is the third facial clue to spotting a narcissist, their eyebrows. Narcissists often raise their eyebrows while nodding, using this subtle yet powerful nonverbal cue to draw others in and reinforce their inflated self-image. They often set you up to feel socially awkward or impolite if you don't respond as expected, making it almost automatic to nod along or affirm their need for validation. But there's more to eyebrows and narcissism than just a raised brow here and there. In fact, there's some fascinating research showing that you can actually identify a grandiose narcissist by their eyebrows. <laughs> In a 2018 study, Giacomin and Rule dug into how facial features contribute to perceptions of narcissism and found that eyebrows play a starring role. Their research actually showed that people could accurately identify narcissists based solely on the distinctiveness of their brows. So does this mean that narcissists somehow grow different eyebrows? Or maybe they figured out the power of a good brow game and invest extra time in making theirs stand out? Or perhaps it's just a classic chicken and egg scenario where maybe we've learned to associate certain eyebrow features with narcissism and they, in turn, choose more defined eyebrows because of their narcissistic tendencies. When you see Megan raise her eyebrows, do you see someone signaling a need for validation and reassurance? Do you think her meticulous eyebrow grooming exposes traits of narcissism? Whether you see possible narcissism or simply a couple of pretty eyebrows, it's worth considering the motivations beneath the surface. When you notice someone raising their eyebrows, it could be a subtle cue to elicit validation. To test for manipulation, use the non-compliance test. Instead of immediately affirming them, respond with a neutral statement like, that's an interesting perspective. If they continue to seek validation or seem unsettled by your response, it might indicate that they're trying to manipulate you by drawing you into their need for admiration. And if their eyebrows are very distinct, well-groomed, and full, well, picture those brows as two little red flags above their eyes. Remain neutral and steer the conversation in a different direction. For example, you might say something like, let's discuss something else to keep control of the interaction and avoid feeding into their need for affirmation. Facial clues are only a small part of the puzzle. If you really want to be able to spot a narcissist, you need to know how they move. So click this video next to learn the body language of a narcissist, to understand the way they position themselves in any room, and how they assert physical dominance. This will help you spot a narcissist early to make sure you're always one step ahead.